And Ian says, the first time I tried to stay up all night, I was hanging out with my cousin and my grandpa was like, sure, knock yourselves out. Knowing a full well, we would give up. At, and by three to four, we were like, okay, we cave, let's sleep. <laughs> I do remember... Um, there was the launch of a rock band two or three and Randy and I went to Walmart at midnight to get it. And we it for end- sure wasn't one. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't one. Um, we ended up staying up till like four or five o'clock in the morning playing that game. There's probably oh, a rock band too. Yeah. There's been school times yeah. where like I've stayed up till five, six o'clock in the morning. I've never done 24 hours straight. I have done 24 hours before. Mostly, there was one time at work, I was the closing manager and the overnighter person didn't show up, so I had to stay and do the overnight. Mm -hmm. (gasps) Uh. So that was fun. And we've done um, Harry Potter movie marathons with a couple of friends. Ambigamer says... I think the last time I stayed up all night to play a game during a work night was when I was playing Metal Gear Solid 4. That's a, <laughs> that's a pretty good that's one. Very surprising. The hype <laughs> level for that was insane. Like at the time, the games that had like the max hype were like Halo 3 and MGS 4. I'm trying to think if any Nintendo games had like that level of anticipation. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I remember the conversation around those games was insane. <laughs> Athena says the, the sad sa- part was that Oh, a number yeah. of years after <laughs> it came out. <laughs> <laughs> Ian says Animal Crossing. Mm. The games that I've stayed up yeah. late for. <sighs> I I mean, I stayed up till midnight to like launch the game and then I played it for like an hour and then I had to go to bed. Hmm. Yeah, that's happened a bunch. I've stayed up late to finish. Like, I'll stay up to like one or two, but that's what I I do on weekends, play games till that late. Um, I remember once staying up super late to finish the, not the last Phoenix Wright game, but the first one on 3DS. The first one where he <laughs> came back. I remember like, okay, I, I'm on this final case. This shouldn't take that long. And then like, I see the sun coming up and it's like, oh, f- finally it's done. <laughs> and then I went to bed. Yep. <laughs> Those games end up being a lot longer than usual. Yeah. <laughs> than you think. Yeah. Ian figured- lo- the last so case is always like a million hours. <laughs> mm-hmm. But they're so good. Yeah. <laughs> they Ian says really dual good. destinies. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that last trial was so good. Mm-hmm. I had to replay that. I haven't played that in a while. We've only played it the one time. You make it sound like it's a bad thing. You've I've only played, played those games more, more than once. It was great. <laughs> yeah, what? Okay, you bring up an interesting point there, Chris. Um, how often do you replay games? I used to play replay games more often before, but now I, ha- I, I have too many new games. Mm-hmm. To the point where, like, I I feel like I I can't go back and replay games because I've I've, I've got too much to to play on my plate right now. Yeah, I think I'm kind of the opposite. Like, I love going back to replay old games. Like, again, Rachel and I we just kind of binge played Paper Mario for the N64 this past weekend, which was great. And then replaying Stardew Valley again is awesome. <laughs> Can never get enough of this game. Arcade Spirit again. We did just, Rachel and I just bought a bunch of new indie games, but we haven't had a chance to like turn them on yet. It's just so much easier when we're trying to have downtime to go back to a familiar game. Yeah, I hear you on that. I think the, for me, it's like the pressure of keeping up content on the website always pushes me towards playing mm-hmm. new stuff. But then I'm also just like, I want to keep up with new things. So I rarely go back to play stuff. And mm. it's mostly just like, all right, what's the next thing? And I think I'm, now I'm definitely easing off of Animal Crossing. I paid off my house. I'll be checking in. I'll probably still be checking in every day for the foreseeable future, but it's not going to be like me running around my entire island, chopping every tree for wood and building furniture that I'm just going to sell. I'm not going to worry about that anymore. It's just like, is there anything cool at the store? Is there good turn up prices? And I'll talk to whoever's along the way. But after that, then I'll probably just let it go and try you something spend else. spend chopping every tree on your island. 
because I did that for like the first couple days and then I was done. Yeah, it's really boring. <laughs> yeah, I've been done with that for a while. I kind of just chop trees if I need the wood. Yep. But then on that, yeah, I kind I've of I check on the store. I talk to everyone once, maybe catch a few bugs and maybe put money down on my down payments. And then the, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> I'll chop wood on like mystery islands because I, I started like thinking about like min maxing those like the inventory slots. And I feel like when you get 10 wood and then you build it into something, it's probably still worth more than most of the fish I would catch. And then it's like there's That's a true. there's a finite end. I can chop these all down and I still have like a decent number of slots left for fish. Yeah. But yeah, cutting my own trees I, now, I've like forget it. On... <laughs> Sorry, Randy. I I've only been on like three mystery tours. Like I I never do that. Because mm. I, I only did it at the start of the game to like collect resources, and now that I have so many trees that I never chop, like I don't bother. Hmm. Yeah. I, I even... guess I've missed out on like bamboo and like the spider islands or whatever, but like. Otherwise, I, I don't see the need. I generally get I rarer fish on those islands. Oh, uh, really? Okay. I'd, it, Are there any actual islands dedicated to the spiders? I always thought someone would go late at night, clear it out, and then wait for them to spawn. That's one way to do it, but there is actually like a dedicated spider island. Oh, I didn't that's know that. Just, like, I an would octagon. Be <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never gotten spider island before. Hmm. I mean, now we're in the season for uh, Scorpion Island. Yeah, I got tripped up because the scorpions <laughs> don't behave the same as the spiders. Ugh. No. I thought it would just be like a swap, but the thing is the scorpions don't jump before they run at you. They just run at you. And that completely messed up my timing because my whole strategy oh. was I run at the spider and as soon as I see it jump, that's when I swipe. But it doesn't do that anymore. So then I just get tagged. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I got my my first scorpion at like midnight on May first, and I, I I totally got taken out by it, and it, <laughs> I I didn't realize it until just now, but it's because it didn't jump. Mm. Oh God! Have you guys done the May ticket thing yet? The May Day tickets? Yes. Oh, the May Day. Yeah, the May Day maze. I is haven't fun. done it yet. I think tomorrow's the last day. Oh yeah, you should do that. You should do that. I messed okay. it up though. There's an optimal way to do it, and I realized oh. after I just gave up that um, I could have done it better. Yeah, Afterwards, I, I took three tries to do it. Because mm. you can just beat it no problem, but if you beat it the best way, you will get more stuff. I don't want to spoil okay. too much, but yeah, if you beat it the best way, yeah. you will get more stuff. I, I could have sworn though. Um, I don't know if this is too much of a spoiler. Um, Doesn't matter. Because they, they tell you to, like, they, you get rid of all your supplies and you need a particular supply to to get the thing at the end. And I was like, but what if I eat beforehand? Is the dodo guy really going to tell me to also use the bathroom before I go to this island? <laughs> I wonder if that actually works. Or if just it, uh, conveniently, I decided to use the bathroom on the plane, but I don't think they have bathrooms on those planes. Because <laughs> there is dialogue. I'm guessing you would not have. Sorry. Uh, there is dialogue. Sorry. You're guessing what? I was. I was guess. I was just gonna say. I'm guessing they get rid of the fruit that you eat. Yeah. I just wonder if they uh -huh. added special dialogue for that of like, hey, buddy, do you you need to use the bathroom before you hop on this plane? It's a really long flight because <laughs> they do have dialogue for if you have inventory like, oh, we're just going to hold it for you. But yeah, um, yeah I'm curious. We'll also hold the apples you ate. Yep. So, Chris, when you do it, uh, eat a fruit before you go on the plane and please tell me what happens. OK. Yeah. <laughs> That is all. <laughs> I will do my best to remember. Okay. All right. Um, I see. I'm, I'm trying to catch up with the chat here. Uh, Athena says, yeah, Spider Island. Oh, Ian says Spider Island, way scarier. Finding it naturally than making it on your own. 
and I saw something about content about um, the site might the site might have suffered because of playing not playing like new stuff, but mental health wise, you're happier for it. And yeah, I totally get that. Um, yeah, just of late, I've been playing like almost all Animal Crossing, so there isn't really a lot to write about. But I do have some reviews for games that I might have intentionally picked up because I know I could play them in like one or two sittings and have a reasonable review out like Carcassonne this week. Uh, don't buy it. Uh, Carcassonne's a great game, though. Carcassonne on the Switch. Don't do it. It's unfortunate because Carcassonne's one of my favorite board games and they messed up the Switch port. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It I mean, like the big thing is it doesn't have online play like the Xbox 360 version has online play. And you're going to tell me that the Switch couldn't handle it. <sighs> yeah, no. But, uh... Yeah. None of these like the, the board game ports that this company is doing, like do any of them have online play at this point? For, uh, for the no. Switch? And that's unfortunate. That's silly. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm super. I'm really looking forward to um, uh, Clubhouse Games because, like that, that has online play for almost all of the, all of its games, and those are the kinds of games you want to play with people. Yeah, that was a really weird. Like the original Clubhouse Games on DS was. I think it ended up selling really well, but just the idea of like, do you really want a compilation of chess and checkers and backgammon and uh, it turns out a lot of people did. And our yeah. mom being one of the biggest fans of Clubhouse games. <laughs> I, I I adore Clubhouse games. We had such a good time with that. Yeah, that would be actually that would be a pretty good one to have for like these types of streams and just playing these simple games online with friends. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that it would be perfect if we're if we we're out right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would totally be down to do like a, a checkers stream. <laughs> I'm not very good at checkers or chess. Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, I can't. I can barely play chess. I know how the pieces move and that's it. It's a shame. Well, too. You know, Our grandfather was like a chess champion. Like the yeah. there we have the legacy for it. And yeah, but no skills. No, I didn't. It didn't trickle no, down no. or just translated into like video game skills or something, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure if I were to put some like some effort into it, I could become a decent chess player. But I've never actually I don't think I've once in my life sat down and played a full game of chess. Hmm. I oh, man, I have a chess story. I have a chess. Sto OK, uh, I don't even know if you know this, Randy, because there was there was a phase in like uh. when I was in like grade three or grade four where I was into chess because like my friends were into chess. And one of my friends, Grisharon in particular, shout out to Grisharon, was really good at chess. And I, he would scrape me every time. And I was talking to my dad about, like talking to dad about it. And he was like, oh, he, here's what you do. And he showed me the way to do, like to put someone in checkmate in like three or four moves. I can't remember. It was like one of those things where like you move the pawn up and then you move. It was this combination of moves of like, if they don't do this very specific thing, they will be in checkmate every time. And so I rehearsed it. And on the day of, I did the things. And like on that final move, I was like, checkmate. Yeah, I did it. And then, no, he cleared out the one piece because he had set himself up to prevent himself from getting blocked that way. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. And then I just got destroyed <laughs> after that. Uh... I thought I had him. I thought I had him. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the last times I played chess. <laughs> yeah, the and last from last that day on, you were like never again. Yeah, I had the I had, he, I had the top tier strats, and it didn't work. Um, the last time I played chess was last year when Steph and I went to the spa to celebrate our wedding anniversary and in the waiting area they had a chess board and Steph was like can you teach me how to play chess and so uh, I kicked her butt there but it was also her first time playing chess <laughs> it's a cool game I like the idea of chess but I've never played it before <laughs> mm. it's interesting what I... is chess but fire emblem but yes exactly lower, yeah, it... <laughs> lower res or higher res I don't know depending on how you look at it. 
Yeah, it kind of is that of like looking at the board and seeing like, OK, I can move this guy here, but then this person's going to take this person out. Am I willing mm -hmm. to sacrifice this person in order to do this other thing? And it's cool in those okay. ways. Yeah. And Ian says, I've seen that one reviewing well with people who got to try it early, too. I think you mean Clubhouse Games. I don't know if I'm going to pick that up. It depends on how much. Do you think it's going to be a full price game? Uh, I can see it being like, I don't know, like 40 bucks Canadian. 40. That would be, yeah, like, it's, like it's, 30 bucks US. Yeah. I don't see it being like a full 60 or what is it? Nine, nine, 90 Canada. Oh, $90. Bucks, for, yeah. Yeah, I know. It, yeah. I, yeah, I don't see it being a full price game, but honestly, if it is a full price game, I'll probably still buy it. <laughs> it's been for me, it's been a really dry year in terms of like big releases that I've actually been interested in playing. It's just Animal Crossing. And then everything else has been like indie games from the eShop that have been marked down by a lot. And I don't know what other big games I'm looking forward to this year. No idea is we don't know when Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out, right? Nope. Right? No, I think they won it for yeah. this year, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I doubt that'll happen, but that's the only thing that I've been really looking forward to. Ian says, I feel that curious how much it was impacted by COVID. Yeah. So there's probably a lot of questions and a lot of games that maybe would have gotten release dates by now that we just don't know about because that's all been pushed back or at least the announcement of it being revealed has been pushed back. Yeah. Yeah, off the top of my I mean, head. Wait, I'll wait for it. I will wait very patiently for it. But... <laughs> yeah, there was rumblings of like those Mario remasters, which could be cool. Yes, yeah, so that'd be interesting to see. Mm -hmm. uh, potential... I would love just a regular virtual console thing on the Switch. Yes, please, great. Nintendo. Yeah, I don't oh, think the they're going to do Mario it. Party's on there. Yeah. I, I doubt it. Unfortunately, they're going to move to this model of, yeah, we'll give you like five games a year and that's so it. So much money if they <laughs> had like the virtual console thing. Yeah, you're right. And Ian says, I just want to know if that return to form Paper Mario is real. Yes, yeah. that would be said, amazing if it is. I would like to know. I should play Thousand Year Door as well. It's a pain, though, like the yeah, if, you still got to play that. Yeah, um, to even just play it, I have to use a completely different TV because the monitor that I use, it doesn't support 480p signals. So it's a huh. whole process of like, yeah, taking this down, moving the camera, even if I'm not streaming it, I have to switch the TV out and then like replace the camera and realign. It's a whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're pretty lucky with our setup. We kind of have everything right here. <laughs> mm. And Athena says, Nintendo, I'm joking. Nintendo's cool. I, I mean, like we, we are all <laughs> big Nintendo fair. fans here, uh, but I, I have no problem throwing all sorts of shade at Nintendo when justified, such as their online play. <laughs> yes, I was, I was just. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was playing Animal Crossing with uh, three of my friends and two of them have not played splatoon 2 and the the demo is out now it's mm -hmm. i think today's the last day and i want to suggest like they download it and then we could all play together but like it for turf wars like there's no guarantee that we'll all end up on the same team and then uh... to unlock the t the mode where we are on the same team it's gonna take them like 20 30 hours of play before they actually get it <laughs> and it's it's annoying it's it's it amazes me that like They've gone through two full, like two games of this and like years of updates, and they still haven't figured out that people want to play on the same team as each other. Yeah. Oh. Like I, I, I don't oh. get it. It's it's such a shame too, because Splatoon too, like Splatoon is such a great single player experience. Like if you're playing by yourself online, it's amazing. But trying to play with your friends is such a pain. It is. It's so sad. Uh but, yeah. I've actually never tried Splatoon. I think Rachel's tried it once, but she didn't really. I don't think she like memorized like the buttons and everything for it all. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Have oh. you like are you into shooters at all? Not particularly, no. Okay. I mean even no. if you're not into shooters, you might still want to try out Splatoon. You've got two hours to download the demo and try it out. Um, oh god, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> depend, not this time. <laughs> depending on how you play, you don't even have to shoot. Like, just get the roller and run people over, and it's so fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Oh man, roller the roller is great. <laughs> yeah, Splatoon. I think if you were to play a shooter that's not for fans of shooters, Splatoon would be the game. Mm. And even if you are yeah. a fan of shooters, like there are dynamics of that game, particularly with the movement, that are completely different from anything else out there, which makes it very cool. It's a great game. And I really well, hope Splatoon 3 has parties. Splatoon. Yeah. For some reason, it was never it never really appealed to us as much. I don't know why. Probably because of the shooter thing, we're just like, eh. Yeah. I mean, I could see that scaring you off, and I, I, I wouldn't be able to guarantee that like if you, this would be the shooter to turn things around for you but like <laughs> I, I i'd say it's worth checking out if you have the opportunity to at like a demo kiosk or something yeah like a demo at this point like we tried out i don't think we could justify like paying the full price on it yeah like because neither of us are really inclined to give it a try unless we get like unless we can get an extra money to like splurge or something at some point but yeah, how many more Twitch subs do I have to give you for you to get Splatoon 2? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry. Long way from that. Mm. Amshock, hello. Welcome. Coming in on the tail end. We are just talking about... I see he chimed in about chess, about his roommate has won thousands of dollars in it, and he's never That's beat awesome. him. We tried a handicap game where he started with no castles or knights. Still wins. That's awesome. Uh, Amshock says, I'm looking forward to better next D D to the D&D &D stream. Okay. Uh, yeah, I still have to message uh, everybody, but Chris, you're still interested in playing D&D, &D, right? Absolutely. I still have my character ready to go. Okay. I still have I to clean up my sheet. My sheet is a complete mess. Hold on. I have the camera for this now. Uh, and you guys can see my, my terrible writing. Um, yeah, there's the zoom. And uh, yeah, there's my sheet. There's my handwriting. Please don't copy it, scan it, and forge it, and forge my forge it. Yeah, forge my signature Done. and all that. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's very messy. I need pen. to clean it up. Sorry. Didn't we tell you to use pencil? <laughs> no one told me to use pencil until I'd like written I'm like half of it. Jason put it in the chat. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Trisha, you sent the notes over to us that said pencil. <laughs> and yeah, you meant D and D stream. Okay, I, I'm hoping some point this month we can do that. But I will message the group, see what times people are available, and we will go from there. At this point, I'm projecting like late May. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ambigamer says I've taken all the information and opened a credit card under your name. Please don't. <laughs> uh, we did we talk? I don't know if the people have stolen my stuff. Um, on eBay a couple of months ago, my account got hacked, and someone bought panties under my name. Really? Yeah. With everything else you could have bought on eBay. Yeah, they bought like three dollars worth of panties and shipped it to my old house. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but it happened. I had to delay one of my streams because I was on the phone with eBay sorting that out. <laughs> I, I was just like, yeah, I had to deal with some stuff. But yeah, the reason I delayed that stream that one time on a Sunday morning was because someone hacked my eBay account and bought panties. <laughs> That's a convenient excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. No, Mr. eBay, this is not my panty order. <laughs> that was actually pretty fun. When... That's probably what he said. I, Mr. I, Ernest Bay. I more or less said something like that to the person on the phone, and they laughed and were like, yeah, okay, I, I hear you. Like, no questions asked. He was like, yes, okay. But maybe they were, like, if I was trying to pull a fast one on them and I just really wanted these panties, 
Um, I could have gotten away with it right then and there. <laughs> you probably made that person's day, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The most interesting, like, dispute I've gotten all day. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they get a whole bunch of weird disputes on stuff, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, panties. Um... But yeah, getting your identity stolen, it's not fun. Not fun. No, so please uh, use really complicated passwords and um, what is that thing where you authenticate with your phone? The two, what is it, two step? Two way authentication factor or something two, like that. Yeah, th do two that thing. Yeah, I just set that for my uh, Nintendo account. Yeah, mm -hmm. is they, they had that breach recently. Lots of people got hacked. Over a hundred thousand. Yikes! Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Honey, you'll never guess the call I got today. This guy wanted to return panties he didn't buy. <laughs> didn't buy in quotation marks. Yeah. Didn't buy. Mhm. Mm sells that on eBay too. Like, really? I have another. Yeah. I have a panties-related story. Um, do I still have the picture? I might have the picture. Um, oh, it's what? Actually, what are we talking about? This was a high. Okay. <laughs> Should, do you have the family if, friendly content tag on? This is this was at a family <laughs> gathering, which makes it even weirder. Um, and I don't have the family friendly tag on. I haven't had it on in a long time. <laughs> okay. Can I show? Um. Pictures, Jets, birthday, 2000. Where is that folder? I agree, Athena. <laughs> okay, so it was in what high school. I'll, 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 as I'm, I'm fishing for this photo, I will tell the story. It was in high school, and it was my birthday, and we have a lot of family and friends over. And my cousin, who gave me, side note, uh, this Michael Jordan jersey. So her actual gift she gave me was this Michael Jordan jersey, which is amazing but as a joke gift she packed in like a package of panties and i'm holding these panties really confused and this was this was Aya, by the way who packed it she's laughing her head off of like ah, i got you panties and meanwhile her mom was like oh my god those are my panties what are you doing with those? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> she had bought what? panties and Aya took them and put them in my birthday present <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm oh trying no. I'm trying to find the picture. Um I don't actually remember this story. Oh man. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, Athena. I d <laughs> my butt didn't like Athena. <laughs> oh no, Athena, what happened? She said ha ha ha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's too much, yeah. Mubot doesn't Make sure like to vary your laughs. Mm, ha ha. Okay. Jets birthday. Ha ha ho. Ha he ho. Oh ha ha. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I actually, I should turn on the stream so I can see this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but most of it's deleted now because of Mubot. Pictures. Jet. <laughs> photo. I'm going to try to read this out loud because... Hilarious. Gotcha. Sounds like you're chanting something. Hilarious. I don't, yeah, I don't know which which demon I just summoned, but <laughs> you'll find out later tonight after Where you go to sleep. Where is this picture? <laughs> Hold on. I swear it was the 2000. So my my photos um, photo folder is an absolute mess. How far back was this? Uh, almost 20 years ago now. <laughs> I was like, was this recent? <laughs> you have photos that old on your computer? Yes. Wow. Uh, my mom was an yeah. early adopter to digital cameras. Also, she scanned everything and almost all of my like Randy and I's entire life is on my computer right now because she like she ripped all of our VHS tapes onto computers like 15 years ago. That's awesome. These that probably don't play anymore. Yeah. 
where is this picture? Oh my goodness. There, I know, like, I fought. No. I actually don't remember the story at all. Mm, like, it, I, I, I. It was a I very do remember, fast moment. Like, once. <laughs> There was one birthday, it might have been the same one, where I snuck a puffer into one of your gifts. <laughs> Man, those I, parties I, were pretty epic. I was holding on to someone's gift and I uh I wrapped um I wrapped a, one of your puffers in paper towel and then I snuck it into your gift. Mm. You guys have wild birthday parties, it sounds Yeah, like. they were they were pretty intense. <laughs> Jet birthday 2002, 2003, 2004. Was it the 2002? Uh, no, it wasn't this one. Wait, was it? I don't think it was this one. And you guys can't see these anyway. Um, oh, what is happening? I don't know. Here, am I gonna? I see what you're doing. Let me um, add this window and we can browse through my life. This oh, is, God. This might get me in trouble <laughs> oh, here. Window uh, capture. I. <laughs> there. Do not recommend. Oh, yeah. There's going to be like young pictures. <laughs> oh, of man. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Aww. I'll be there. Yeah. Randy's going to be in these pictures. This was our basement. So um, I don't know if you can see my cursor here. Uh, yeah, this was my birthday in 2002, and a bunch of my friends are here. And is Randy in this picture? I don't think so. No. Um, <laughs> Chris, you know Brendan. That's him all the way in the back. Okay. Um, other pictures. Here's a really ugly up-close picture. Oh, hold on. It didn't open. Is that going to wreck stuff? Kind of, yes. Hold on. Let's Why see am if I this not opens. in this picture? I don't understand how <laughs> how that's even possible. Um, my Maybe computer... you were taking the picture. Why is the computer going really slow? Uh, that's oh, a... everything. <laughs> oh, we too? lost our video. Uh oh. Yep. Bye. Hold on. What is happening? Okay. Hold on. Which one is this? Photos. There's me and my mom. Aww. Aww. Where did you go? Hold on. I think I. Oop, bye. <laughs> um. Where Where did Chris and Randy go? I mean, I I was never We're there. We're still here. <laughs> That's streaming fine. Streaming and video like Chrome. You can still hear us, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Okay. That was a good question, Randy. I didn't even think to ask that. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah we're here. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think I might have broke it. Well, at least the uh, showing you guys on stream. No, oh, I, I want more uh, more story time. Yeah, I can show like my pictures. I just can't show you guys. No, oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, um, where are these other... The 2001 birthday. That was the one. Um, sure? Edge day, edge of recording, Jenny's birthday, family. I'm pretty sure it was the 2001. How come I can't find it? Here, I will just pull up random pictures then until I find <laughs> this folder. How about this? Also, let me shut off my switch here so it does not overheat. And maybe that will help keep the windows at bay. Yeah, I think the thing that messed it up is because it's multiple instances of window capture and it's getting confused between my computer and uh, you guys. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. We're very confusing. Yeah. Capture method automatic. Here, explore. Well, not that one. There. Uh, this was my my big pink frilly hat that I got at an amusement park <laughs> that year. Um, this was I like the cowboy hat in the back. Yeah, that's shout outs to my friend Rashid, who I went to school with in college. And then years later, he ended up going to school with Randy. <laughs> yep. 
Hey, that's fair. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, shout outs to Rashid. He is, oh man, he worked, I don't know where he is right now, um, but he was working for like a colitis charity fundraiser thing because he had it himself and he's recovered through it, had the surgery and everything. Uh, very oh, wow. tough cookie. Mm, here's- Oh, hey, my uh, face is back. What? Yeah, my dots are back. Oh, cool. <laughs> Some other random pictures. Oh, here's me and Rashid again with our, our crazy hair. Hold on. It's super slow to load these pictures. Oh, I have to close. To the... Hmm. So if I close this, and there it is. <laughs> and I'll zoom that so you guys can see it. Yep. Oh, <laughs> boy. So hard. Oh, boy. It was a different time. It was a different time. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> time. <laughs> Um, where is that two? You know that old photo, that photo that everyone used to meme off of the the icy hot stunt is. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Uh, oh, here it is. Birthday two thousand. I don't think this is it. Hold on. View extra large icons. Is this the one? No, it's not two thousand one. Uh, I do have a really bad. Oh, here we go. Jenna's gonna kill me. Uh, for showing <laughs> oh, this no. picture. Jenna's gonna kill me for this. Don't don't tell Jenna, all right? Shh. Okay, so I'll close I've this one. I already texted her. Oh, don't do <laughs> it. On the Discord don't do call it. right now. Oh, baby Jenna. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, Jenna is. I, Jenna and Rachel are the same age, so this would have been. Oh really? Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. And then you and that Chris blows are. That my mind. You and Chris are about the same age. That's how I, I keep it straight in yeah, my head. I knew that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man, there was another picture in there. Um, very, hold on. So yeah, this was from the 2001 birthday. This is, this is high school, same year. I wish these things would open up a little faster. I, here oh man this is super grainy too uh this is me and my friend randy like total thug life yeah <laughs> oh man early digital cameras yeah oh this wasn't this was a scan oh, okay yeah okay was it 2002 the panty <laughs> shot oh man i'm gonna get in trouble um it's it's i think it's one of these hold on Like I can barely make Randy out in that that shot. Mm. 2003? Yeah, these parties were like legend. Here's oh, here it is. Okay, here. Um, <laughs> this, please don't crop, don't clip this. Um, this was the joke Where's gift. The um, I realized that's a little more. Um, I'll just show you guys, all right? Oh, it didn't it didn't pop up. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Here. Did that work? It's it's that salacious. Twitch preemptively shut it down. Oh man. <laughs> oh careful. It's not working. Hold on. <laughs> Wait was not meant to be um i mean technically i think the fact yeah you look like you're measuring the size of them or something <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i got those as a joke and i opened up the package and then measured it up and my aunt is freaking out because i'm like modeling her underwear that she just bought for herself <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> your poor aunt i know <laughs> She's like, I actually meant to wear those. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so, uh, what did you do with them? Uh, I gave, I gave them back. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah. I guess a couple more. Uh, this is my life shots here. 
Man, why does it take so long? I think the other method I had where I open the picture and then close it and then OBS knows which one to switch to is the trick because otherwise I'm doing weird fiddly stuff like um, this. Okay, there. Yeah, this was from one of my birthdays. We ran out of the house and then we ended up at a school and we jumped on a bus and took this cool photo with decades before doing it for the gram. I might have posted this on my GeoCity site or something. Uh, at the top, yeah, it was the, the cool bus. That's why we were covering up those letters. Um, to, the, to the right of me is Jamal, who had four his his turnups were 498 bells per this afternoon. And then above that is Brad. Shout outs to Brad. What price were his turnips at? I don't know what price Brad's turnips were. I don't think he's playing um, Animal Crossing. Oh, man, we hmm. could we could go like deep. Do we want to see like Randy baby pictures or something like that? Yeah, I'm <laughs> a little disappointed. I I appeared in the panty photo, like in the <laughs> photos behind you. But I, 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 I would like some real life Randy action. OK, let's see. I have a photo folder here specifically called family. Mm. <laughs> it would be really unfortunate if I wasn't in that folder. Yes. Oh, here we go. There's a great shot. Oh, man. oh there's there's multiple good pictures here. Um, well, you asked for it, Randy. So here you go. Yeah, please. There it is. <laughs> Randy in the top left. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you wanted this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's me with the, the mostly shaved head. Um, to the right of Randy's, my cousin Janice. To the right of Randy's, Janice. To the right of me is my cousin Adrian and my cousin Ellis. So Adrian in the middle is Kai's mom. And Kai is like my my youngest fan. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is long before then. Do I have... When was this? Oh, here's the Jordan jersey. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, that picture's not that interesting anymore in light of the... We already showed the panty part, so that was the cool part. <laughs> um, any other random pictures? Oh, here we go. This one, I rem I'm just gonna post the post this. I saw this truck. It was um, I used to work at a pharmacy, and it was the going away party for one of my former coworkers. And as towards the end of the night, we ran into this truck. Know what it is? Yep. <laughs> oh man, it's su it's such an unfortunate name. <laughs> Ian says, "Can't imagine Do why you a think bunch they of they knew." <laughs> I, I don't like think they, they did. I don't think they knew. <laughs> I really don't think they knew. But yeah, very unfortunate name. Or maybe the best. Yeah, I, I don't know. I still remember you showing that photo like during our family camping trip. <laughs> I guess on your iPod Touch or something. Mm. Where would the family and photo? I want... I want to say that you had to explain what that meant. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, you definitely had to explain what that meant. Mm. Oh, man, there's I have the mom's folder here. This is like also. Oh, here's a folder with like a bunch of Randy pictures. Oh, wait, no, not a bunch. Ooh. Not a bunch. Uh just some. Oh, this one's cute. This one's cute. I'll show this one. This is grade seven for me, I think. Hold on. When this this pops up. There. That photo. Yep. Aww. Um, that one's great. Mm hmm. I think, Randy, you're in like kindergarten at this point. <laughs> and then, yeah, below me is Michael. No. Oh. 
You're pretty young at the I, time. I, I wanted to say that was that was like grade. No, I guess grade three would be. I would look a little older than that. I, I don't know. Think... It might be. I was in my no my... because. Uh, I don't know. I I don't I didn't want to get too deep into it. <laughs> but I, I do feel like it's a little later than kindergarten. Okay. I am wearing my big purple Toronto Raptors jacket. Always on brand. <laughs> um. Oh, maybe. is that what you're wearing in that photo? Yeah, I love that jacket. Oh, I was I felt so cool. <laughs> um. But yeah, those are kind of back in style again. <laughs> yeah, where's like the super old stuff? It's probably. Yeah, I don't think I have any of that. Where is. Why does she have these pictures? Um, is this the one? I think this is the one. OK, hold on. So we, we've talked about I don't know if we've talked about it here, uh, but I know I've had this conversation on other people's streams about a site called hotornot.com. Yes. <laughs> OK, so I. I, I, I've i posted a couple of times back in the day, and this was the shot that got me a 9.1 out of 10. This was like maybe oh the, the pinnacle of my, my looks right here. Look, look there. That. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. It's, it's the arm. Okay. The hand behind the head. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. <laughs> That was yeah, the pose. Like the boy band pose. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the pose. Golf claps. It's OK. Yeah, I that was almost <laughs> 20 years ago and like 60 pounds ago. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after I uploaded this picture, and I got that score. I'm like, I'm never doing this again. It's only downhill from here. <laughs> Man. Yeah, this was in a uh, grade. This is in high school and there a bunch of my my friends. I still talk to something like Jenny in the top uh, right corner here. I still see all the time. Shout outs to her and her husband, Jan. Um, Alan, I have not seen lately. John in the middle. Um, he had a baby that we dubbed Optimus. It was baby Optimus. We referred to him as before he was <laughs> born. That's what we wanted him named to. Didn't happen, though. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, I guess a couple more. How far down the rabbit hole do you guys want to go? I I can I do this all night. Through. Okay. No worries. Uh, I know. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to show too much stuff. Nope, not that folder. Oh no! What are you that hiding? Oh, uh, that was photos. <laughs> um, that was photo. That was a collage of photos of my my grandfather. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. R.I.P. London, Mark, Misha Stone, Mom's picture, music pics, party putt, Paris, Palladium. These are not. These are all like new. Where's like the old stuff? Those are new. Yeah. Yeah. Graduation to Humber. Oh, Humber College. Jeez. Um, iPod touch photos. What is in here? Z103. Okay, here's one. I talk about this a lot. Uh, so we should show the receipts. Uh, the time I marched in the Pride Parade. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that was a thing I did. That's awesome. Yeah. So here we go. This is when I worked at the radio station, Z103. No, that's not me in the dress. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I, I am right here, right here. And this was one of the people we were marching with. And I, I drove the vehicle as the rest of our crew was throwing T-shirts that day. That's awesome. I I never been hit on so much in my life until that one day <laughs> before or since I I did not know how to handle that kind of attention, TBH. 
You say thank you, I'm flattered. You look very nice too. <laughs> okay. Now I know. Is there any like oh, that's awesome. family? Oh man, this is just like a giant photo dump. This is not sorted at all. Um Those are the best ones. Okay. Here. This okay, this is a way back from me. I think I've shown Chris this photo before, and I, Randy's probably seen it in in photo albums and stuff. But here, I'll I'll talk this through with the stream. Jet, this is your life. This is seven year old me's bedroom, <laughs> and Boy. so yeah, at the all the art, I did not draw this art. This my dad would draw assorted things like Ninja Turtles and Batman and Super Mario and then I would color it in and years later he told me Aww. like I don't like drawing I can't draw but you wanted me to do these things so I just kind of doodled what I could <laughs> um, so that was really wow. sweet of him yeah. uh, and then I had the Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells uh, concert poster <laughs> which I got from Pizza Hut I still have the tape somewhere in boxes in the back and I still had the bull cut and um oh here if you can see like just past my right shoulder this picture here was my dad drew screenshots of the Ninja Turtles game on the NES that I colored in because I wanted that <laughs> I was that big of a dork that was very nice of you dad yeah. though you wanted drawings <laughs> of screenshots Yes, but I mean, this is before I knew what screenshots games. were. I was like, can you draw this thing from this video game? And so he did. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yep. I think we used to have that out of our shelves or tape. I don't think we really have any VHS tapes anymore, but I remember mm. watching that. And fast forwarding through Splinter Song because mm. it was too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, this is hold on which where do we want to go here oh this is like do I have any like really young Randy photos here uh no yeah there's like almost toddler photos of me which we're not going to share um <laughs> this is me corrupting my cousin Kyle uh, when he was like three years old, I babysat him for a week and he hadn't really played video games up till this point. And so I started him with the classics. <laughs> and yeah, so I was babysitting him. This was like all my, my GameCube games at the time. And we had the TV <laughs> that you sat down in front of to watch. I hooked up an old Nintendo and started him with Super Mario 1. That's awesome. And then he discovered Call of Duty and never played anything else ever again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he discovered Call of Duty at like age five, and that's like the only thing he plays. You tried. <laughs> I tried. We started him off on the right foot. Mm -hmm. Oh no, poor kid. <laughs> <laughs> um couple more. Oh dude, our rock band setup. This was okay. This is like actually gaming related, and Ooh. I should probably change the topic of the stream to just chatting in case anyone uh I know it's like way too late at this point, but so this this setup was super intense because my dad is super extra when it comes to anything related to music. Randy can confirm. <laughs> oh, yeah. OK, here. So what's going on in this photo is that uh, my dad likes to sing. He, he can't play any of the instruments, but he likes to sing with us. But he doesn't like the echo, the default like effects coming out of the TV. And then there's a slight delay, too. So what he did was he hooked up the system through an amp and then like he has his like concert grade like mixer here and then hooked it up to like these large concert PA speakers. And so we were just like blasting the sound through our house so that my dad could hear himself sing at like just the right way. Oh my god, that's awesome. He would hold both like the, the microphone for the game and the microphone for the like the speakers. And he'd sing into both. Yeah. 
Ambigamer says, that sounds like something my dad would do. Yeah, it, it's nuts. Like, <laughs> like thousands of dollars of audio equipment just so he could have the most optimal rock band experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, go all the way. Yeah. Randy, is that TV? Okay, so that, I don't know if you guys remember it's the last picture. Okay. <laughs> um, it was like a floor model TV. And then we got an HD TV and we just put like a tablecloth over top of the old TV and put the new TV on top of the old TV. <laughs> um, it's still in the basement because this TV weighs like 800 pounds and there's no way anyone's lifting that thing out in one piece. I don't understand how we got it down there without anyone dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, dude, you got to get your dad on stream. Um, if you know where to look, you can find his like musical performances online that he posts like every day. Yeah, also, he's on the I, internet. And we have a family group chat that my mom got super annoyed at because he was he was asking about the the growing trend of like having multiple videos of people performing different things and stitching it together. And he asked me if he could do it or if I could do it for him. Um, he still hasn't sent me the clips and I've walked him through all the instructions. If you can do all these things, send me the videos. I will put it together for you. And he still hasn't done it yet. But my mom was just like, can you guys move this chat off of the family group chat? I don't want to see any of this. I was also annoyed by it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Man. Other ones. This is from that. Here's a picture from the States. A very memorable moment from a time I went to the United States. Uh, I, I visited a fine establishment you have called White Castle. Uh, Never Lord been. Have, Lord have mercy. Please don't. Please don't. It was the worst fast food I've ever had in my entire life. Like, oh, really? I I don't think that would pass the food code here in Canada. It is disgusting. I I I had a stomach. I had like stomach flu after eating some of those. It was ugh, and it tasted so bad, too. But I saw Harold and Kumar go to White Castle and thought it was going to be the best thing ever. No, it wasn't. And th that was the oh. joke. That was the joke. I don't think we have any around us. Mm -hmm. it's for the best and ian says folks okay. i gotta head I out it. thanks for the stream thank you ian we'll do like one more picture and i i don't even know if it's gonna be a good picture it'll just be a picture mm, i'll try and pick something like old okay how about this one nope there's nothing in that folder um jenny's birthday did anything cool happen at this one no that looks like i'm nope um here actually hold on quebec city 2009 what happened in quebec city 2009 uh nope i did not take pictures of any family in this one sorry randy <laughs> um grad jet's birthday 2004 another birthday shot no this one wasn't okay yeah randy's in this one okay <laughs> this is just the picture it was a family photo there so yeah that's my mom up front we were at baskin robbins our, our go-to ice cream spot uh there's randy <laughs> with his ice cream me with the super spiky hair and then my friend wendy shout outs to wendy who i still hang out with to this day that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't learn so how to good. smile until I was like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look adorable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm drinking a a chocolate blast with a, which they technically don't have on the menu anymore, but you should still ask for because it's delicious. And Ooh. yeah, I don't know what Wendy's. It's some sort of chocolate. Yeah, shout outs to Wendy. She came by the Extra Life Marathon at like, she came by our house at like two o'clock in the morning. Oh, and God. she didn't end up on camera. You can hear her voice though. But yeah, shout outs to Wendy. Was that last year or the year before? Last year. You might have been asleep at that point because you were conservative. You were going to do the night shift. Yeah. 
Yeah. I uh, I had no idea when he was there. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Yeah. She must have shown up and then left in the, the time span that I was sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, she was only there for like an hour. From like two uh, to three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, I think it's time hopefully we wrap this up. Oh, sorry, Randy. Okay. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, hopefully, like by the time extra life rolls around, we'll be actually be able to get together and do it. Yeah, yeah that's a million dollar question. If it's gonna have to be all remote, or it's just gonna be me sitting on the couch by myself for twenty four hours, I really wouldn't want that. <laughs> no. Uh, but we will figure uh, that out another time. For now, though, it's time for bed. Thank you so much for joining us on this the Stardew Valley slash this is your life experience. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't clip that last thing. I'm probably going to have to cut that out so I don't get banned. Um, <laughs> Athena says, thank you for the great stream. Good seeing you all. It's great seeing you as well. Thank you, Athena. Great seeing you in the chat. This Amshock, awesome. everybody else that came by. Thank you. Everybody who lurked. Appreciate it. Um, are you guys down to do this as like a somewhat regular thing, like the multiplayer Stardew thing, or, or let the so very least continue this campaign? Okay, cool. And I, hopefully, my my Wi-Fi uh, acts nicely next time. <laughs> Maybe like.